Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys Dr. Seuss, The Cat in the Hat, the movie. All right guys, let's get into this. The Walden house was in an uproar. Mom was getting ready for her big party. Delivery men, delivery men bustled in and out. And Conrad and Sally were bickering again. Mom went to run some errands and left Mrs. Kwan to babysit. You two behave, Mom said. No sooner had Mom left... Then Mrs. Kwan fell into a deep sleep and began to snore. It began to rain. Conrad and Sally shifted and fidgeted. Quit bugging the fish, Sally snapped at Conrad. You quit it, Conrad snapped back. Suddenly they heard a loud bump, or was it a thump? What was that, whispered Sally. Nevins the dog growled. Mrs. Kwan snored, snored on. Conrad and Sally crept slowly up the stairs to investigate. They saw something big, something furry. It was a cat in a hat. Ah! They screamed. That could have gone better, remarked the cat. Conrad and Sally ran this away and that away. But whichever way they, they turned, there he was. Who are you? Whimpered Sally. I'm the cat in the hat, said he with the bow. Nice place. You two must love it here. We're bored out of our minds, said Conrad. But this house is full of fun, said the cat. He checked the kids with his phenometer. Yep, he said. You two have a classic case of the worst day ever. I know just the cure. You kids need to forget about the rules and learn to have a little fun. The problem with you is that you're old before your time. You're way too uptight. You need to relax, kick back, chill out, pull out the stops, and enjoy yourself. All right, cried Conrad and Sally, getting into the spirit. Don't listen to him, said the fish. I have the feeling this cat is about to violate all 17 of your mother's rules. Everyone turned to stare. Why? That fish had never said a word before. I know, said the cat. Let's make cupcakes. They mixed the powdered sugar, two sticks of butter, a pile of hot dogs, ugh, 10 peanuts, mm, a rasher of bacon, and a gaggle of grapes. Then they poured the batter into a cupcake tin and slid the whole mess into the oven. What a grand time they were having until kaboom! The oven exploded, purple goop. Don't worry, said the cat. I'll clean this up. He started swabbing up the gooey goop. That's not a towel, cried Sally. That's mom's party dress. We're doomed, moaned the fish. Oh, what will become of us? Mm. Calm down, said the cat. I have the answer to all your cleaning needs. The cat went to the living room where the kids were forbidden to play and opened it a crate. Out popped a pair of two of strange creatures, said the cat. Allow me to introduce you to thing one and thing two. They'll have this place cleaned up in no time. The things each grabbed one end of mom's dress and snapped it. The stains flew off the dress and landed on the couch. Are you sure these things know what they're doing, says asked Sally nervously. The cat shrugged. Sure, they're professionals. Sally and Conrad tried to catch the things, but they were very quick and very tricky. The things ran up the walls and across the ceiling. They rolled bikes over the furniture. They left purple tracks everywhere. That poor puppy dog, Nevins, headed for the hills. Why don't we pop outside have a little fun and grab the dog while we're at it, asked the cat. Besides, it's too nice to stay.
stay inside. What are you talking about? Asked Sally. It's pouring. But when the cat opened the door, sunlight streamed in. The search for Nevins led them to a neighbor's birthday party. The cat thought it best for everyone to stay hidden, but he was quickly spotted by the kids. Thinking fast, Conrad and Sally tossed candy from behind the bushes. The kids dived into the candy and forgot all about the cat. But during all the commotion, Nevins ran off again. That was when the cat magically produced the car. It's my super luxurious omnidirectional whatchamajigger or S-L-O-W. For short. Grab a steering wheel. We can all drive. Basically, it's called slow, y'all. Having three drivers in one car didn't work. So we crashed. So, well, we crashed. Wow. That was sweet cried Conrad happily. Walking home, they spotted Nevins in a beauty shop and called him. Now all they had to do was hurry home and clean before mom came back. But what a mess they found. Whatever were they to do now? When mom came home, she would have a fit. How about a game of tennis? Asked the cat. Oh, Lord. How about you clean my house? <laughs> That was the last straw. Get out, shouted Conrad and Sally. After the cat left, Conrad said, why don't you go upstairs, Sally? I'll tell mom it was all my fault. We should share the blame, Sally said. For this first time in a long time, she smiled at him and said, by the way, you're a pretty good brother. I'm glad you think so, said Conrad, returning the smile. Just then, the front door opened and through it came... I have no idea. Let's see. The cat in the hat. Singing and driving. His super splendorific house cleaning machine. Conrad and Sally would, could scarcely believe their eyes. When the cleaning crew had finished, the house was spotless. They dry cleaned mom's dress, scrubbed Conrad and Sally, and even given Nevins a bath, all without waking up Mrs. Kwan. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, cat, called Conrad and Sally. Thanks for everything. The cat was still singing as he drove away. <laughs> all right, guys. That was Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat, the movie. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like and share this video. All right, guys. Bye.